So, you think you know how to pee? You're all grown up, are ya? Well, think again. I'm gonna teach you how to pee regeneratively with three simple rules. It's no coincidence that human urine is a perfect plant food. If rational thought has taught us anything, it's that there is no free lunch. No givey, no takey. Even for pure carnivores, your meat ate plants to make meat, so we have to give it back. The nitrogen, that is. It's the basic building block for proteins and DNA, which means pretty much every cell in our body. And that's equally true for our friends in the plant world. And guess what? Our pee is brimming with nitrogen. It's basically magic sauce. Oh yeah, and it also has delicious doses of phosphorus, potassium, and trace minerals. All adds up to NPK. Sound familiar? So why don't we all practice nature peeing? Well, because cities. For millions of years, our ancestors peed in nature, but as we began to aggregate in cities, it became obvious that poor sanitation was causing epidemics of disease and death. But if you get down to the nitty gritty details, the culprits are almost always residents of our poop. In fact, our pee has a long tradition of use as a topical antiseptic. That's not to say that pee can't harbor infectious agents, it's just extremely rare and almost exclusive to certain parts of the wet tropics. But isn't pee gross? Well, yes, it certainly can be, so you have to know how to pee. To make things easier, I've compiled three simple rules for regenerative peeing. Number one, don't pee on dry minerals. What? Dry minerals are pure sand, rock, concrete, etc. There's no carbon to absorb the pee and the nitrogen will off-gas and smell terrible. Number two, pee on carbon or wet soils. Undiluted urine can cause plants to burn. But if the soil is wet from rain or you dilute it with water, your friends in the plant world will be very happy. Alternatively, find a, a soil with a high ratio of soil organic matter like peaty or loamy soils or soils with deep carbon mulch like wood chips or leaf litter. The nitrogen will glom onto the carbon and act like a slow time release fertilizer next time it rains. For fail safe performance, dilute one part urine to 10 parts water. But keep in mind, potency varies. Number three, if there's any suspicion of urine of questionable origin or your pee cycling at a community, neighborhood, or utility scale, you don't want to take any chances. You may want to add a level of treatment before application. Three simple proven methods you can try are composting, hydrolyzing, and struvidifying. Check out my website, ritualbiology.com, for more detailed info. Thank you.